please tell me a story about it that's true tofu i do have a story about that princess rose many years ago in a far away kingdom there lived a beautiful princess her cheeks were blushed red as a rose and she had beautiful blue eyes and so everyone called her princess rose her beauty was so exquisite that people left no stone unturned in praising her she loved roses so much that the gardens of the kingdom were full of beautiful red roses she was the prettiest girl in the whole kingdom and so some of the witches envied her too <laughs> oh mother dear can you please do my hair into a pretty braid of roses yes my precious come to me and so princess rose sat by her mother while she did her hair into a beautiful long braid she asked the servants to pluck some fresh red roses for her daughter to enhance the braid oh leela dear go and bring my daughter the freshest of roses from the garden as commanded leela went to the garden with a basket and plucked some fresh and dewy red roses for the princess thank you mother this looks so pretty As Princess Rose went out in the garden for a stroll, a strange old woman appeared and asked for help. "Oh, pretty little girl, come here. Come to me." "Hello. Do you need something? Give me some dimes. You can see that I am very poor. I will give you a favor in return. Here. Keep these. You need this more than I do." I hope your poverty flees away in no time. You can always come to this palace for help. Keep this beautiful black rose in return. It will stand out of all the other red roses. Water it just once and it shall bloom into a prince in the kingdom. Oh, what an attractive black rose. Ah, what a beauty. Who could possibly throw it away like that? The prince picked up the delicate black rose, admired its beauty, and planted it in his garden. He was so astonished by the beauty of the black rose that he would talk to it every day and water it. He was saddened at the thought of the black rose being abandoned like that. Oh pretty rose, who would do that to you? You are so admirable and you make me believe in the beauty of nature. Years went by and the young prince would talk with admiration to the black rose and water it every day until one day the prince was saddened for his mother had died. He went out in the garden on one such starry night and talked to the rose for hours. Suddenly the prince started to cry and his tear drops fell on the black rose and alas the evil witch's spell was broken the beautiful black rose turned into the princess rose again oh noble prince you saved me you brought me back to life after so many years of darkness oh i can't thank you enough oh young princess it's you The whole kingdom has been looking for you for so many years. There you are, finally. I have always admired your beauty. Oh, look at your beautiful eyes and your blushed cheeks. Your name justifies you. You are just like a fresh and delicate. Thank you, Prince Charming. All these years you have showered me with love and watered me. I never felt lonely as you were always there to talk to me every single day. You made me realize that even though I was not Princess Rose anymore, you still admired the beauty of a black rose. Oh young prince, 
would you spend the rest of your life with me and shower me with love just like you did when I was nothing but a rose? Oh my beloved, you have stolen the words from my heart. I want to marry you. And finally, the good overcomes the evil as the black rose turns into princess rose again and lives happily with the young prince. The evil witch turns into ashes with anger as the prince embraces princess rose in her arms in front of the entire 